From time to time, you're going to want to check your connection speed to your website or any other website on the net. If you ever have problems of speed or performance, um, this way you can check to see if the problem is on your end versus the problem being on the website end. To do this, you're going to want to get out of your website, go to your desktop, click on the start button and type in CMD. If you're on an Apple, you're going to want to type in trace route, or actually it's terminal. Uh, you're going to want to open up your terminal program. Now, once you type in CMD and you bring up your command prompt inside the Windows environment, what you're going to want to type in is T-R-A-C-E-R-T -E space and then just your website name. Don't include the www or any of that stuff just your domain name and the tilde and then hit enter and what's gonna happen is your site's gonna automatically hit the IP which you can see is the 69163211132 number uh, this will go through the first number here is is my computer the second number is my router my computer is connected to and as you, the connections go through uh, these every line here is a computer that my connection goes through to eventually get to the last hop which here on the 12th hop it's the website that I'm t testing it now these three uh, columns of numbers the MS is represents milliseconds and this is how fast that your connection for every hop takes to get to the next computer to eventually you get to your destination now this is a really good connection you normally want to get about 10 to 15 to a healthy website also the milliseconds should be under 50 for a very good connection um, if on average anything uh, below 30 is acceptable above that there's usually going to be some either lag or you're on a older connection um, if that's the problem you want to eventually contact the uh, people who run your internet connection in this case it'd be the uh, hop 2 and 3 uh, and you'll see it's right here I use Ro Roadrunner I actually go through a, a, another provider but I'm guessing that they use Roadrunner services but this is how the system works um, if you ever have problems with uh, these three columns if you see asterisk symbols basically those little stars that means that there's a connection issue at that particular uh, hop Sometimes, however, um, if you just get a few of those asterisk symbols but the hops continue, that simply means that that computer that gave you those asterisk symbols was either too busy or it simply is, is configured to not uh, reply back to messages like this. As messages, uh, in these messages do create um, CPU usage and some providers um, configure them to not provide any uh, information. So again, uh, to run Traceroute, you're going to want to just type in trace RT. It's short for trace route and then just your domain name on an apple you can actually open up terminal and just type in trace route the actual word 03 studios.com or whatever domain you want and then you hit enter and that'll bring uh, your results now if you ever needed a copy of this to send this into your hosting provider or your developer or even your ISP if you wanted to report an issue you would simply right click on it hit mark and this lets you copy it and all you got to do is again right click on it and that's it you'll then be able to paste it into a new text file which then you could just simply copy it and send it off to your developer and that's it hope this helps and if you have any other issues you can always contact us or just continue watching some more of our how-to videos goodbye